Today marks the one year anniversary since I got into a really bad car accident. So I'm gonna celebrate my trauma. Because I'm alive, I'm never gonna fucking die, motherfucker. I'm here to the end. Sometimes I think that. Sometimes I realize, like, I'm not immortal. And then this fucking happened. Ow! And I realize, wow, it's easy to die. I wrote down what I'm grateful for today, and it's being alive. Right under that bridge up there, I was in a lift in the back seat. We're coming in this lane, coming around the corner under that bridge. Over there, that creek, man, I found a couple of shops on the arrowhead. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> That's awful. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get it from? <laughs> oh my god. Sausage. <laughs> Sausage. Sausage. <laughs> so, like, this, this, one, this straight one's straight. Down. I just go straight down. Yeah, you, you wouldn't rock this one, right? So, this one is more just like. But you can just go straight down. Better than just like a winging thing is it's like uh -huh. have, a, have like a direction or this with how this came out. No? The curry one is the weirdest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Oh shit, my bad. I almost took your glove too. Flip. Oh. <laughs> 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 Is that when we chase something or someone, it moves away from us, but when we leave it alone, it comes to us. Imagine an insomniac trying to sleep. The more he tries, the longer he seems to stay awake. And the longer he stays awake, the more frustrated he becomes. If we try too hard to enjoy ourselves, we're probably not enjoying ourselves. Because we're so fixated on results that the fixation itself is unpleasant. Again, hyperfixation on specific outcomes hijacks one's ability to perform. Who the fuck thought that'd be a good idea? I'd rather eat asshole. I'd actually rather eat asshole. Honestly, I'd probably rather eat ass more than most food, if I'm being honest. My car literally made a noise while I did that thumbs up. It was like a real life sound effect. <laughs> Do you want to fuck this shit up right now? Let's light the cheeseburger on fire. <laughs> 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 right now. On the entire planet, you are the only people seeing this. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like good thing. Then I like pull his hair back. <laughs> <laughs> have you fucked any creators? You gotta have Korean soup with us. Korean soup? Yeah, that's just gonna change your life. I always get scared like people are gonna care if I'm recording or something and then I realize nobody gives a fuck about what you're doing ever. They care about how they look, they don't care about how you look. I literally got to the park right now and I almost got hit in the fucking face by these fucking sprinklers. Your girl when she sees me. I'm not excited. Oh, here it comes. Oh fuck. Whew. Why did I do that? I'm so fucking stupid. The sprinklers are really wet. <laughs> All right, I'm alive. I survived a car crash. I've survived four car crashes. I've totaled like four cars. They gave me a bunch of pita in Ziploc bags. How much for a gram of fucking pita? Doesn't look like they did a bang up job on the presentation. You're telling me I paid $28 for lavash and then you unwrap it and there's just a little fucking piece of chicken in there anything smothered in cucumber yogurt's good so it's good for seven dollars it's not 28 dollar good come on man a year goes by really fast dude and i can't imagine not being alive for this year and i'm so grateful that i survived that car accident with only a scar only my leg hurting, only my lower back still hurting. And my mom helped me out on that one a lot. She always puts into perspective after every car accident I've been in, like, it could have been way worse. You could not have a life, you could be paralyzed. If I can't do that, then something's wrong. I did a lot this year and I can't imagine living without all of the memories that I've made this year, all the people I've met, all the things I've done, all everything I've accomplished. I think that's why I'm afraid of death. I imagine how much farther I could go. You know, imagine how much more memories I could experience, more people, more help I could provide. There's no end point where I feel like someone's like, I've done it all. I had a phone call with my mom the other day and she said she had a dream about my dad and she told me the dream and I like almost cried. And it's like, I don't think too seriously about my dad's death sometimes. That shit was pretty dark, man. Like when she told me that dream, I was like, that is so not fair that that happened. And life isn't fair. And like, I'm not pouting and bitching like, oh, my life's not fair. I'm gonna fucking dwell in the past and not live a full life. I used to be like that. I used to let my trauma make me entitled and think that I need to succeed. Like I deserve success because my dad died. I had a horrible childhood. Like I, I like miss him. I can't have a beer with my dad now. I can't just sit down with my dad and just like, cheers, man. Like Sometimes I have that in my mind. Like the other day I was like, this is not fair that I grew up without a father and it was just, uh, it, it's rough. Why are you getting emotional right now? I'm literally like, I don't tear up talking about my dad really, wow. If I keep talking about it, I'm gonna just cry. I can't do it. <laughs> fucking pussy <laughs> fucking bitch I'm a very emotional guy and I think there's nothing wrong with that I if anything I think people need to be more emotional I think it, it's almost a sign of strength to show your emotions and I think a lot of people view that oppositely and they think the other way when I was in the hospital um, I cried this is so dark this looks horrible dude this looks awful you guys aren't gonna keep watching this I started crying and I was like this is so not fair why am I alive like, why, why me? Why, why did I get a life and he didn't get one? Like, how come he didn't survive a car accident, but I was allowed? And just like him for his, his life to be taken away at 42, I, I think like, damn dude, like, I'm 25, 42 does not seem too far away. And thinking about that's like, kind of scary. Anyways, the rap is mid, it's okay. Without my trauma, I wouldn't be me. And without your trauma, you wouldn't be you. And I think it's more about just loving yourself and being grateful for that trauma even happening. I've just learned so much from trauma and I think it's almost made me a better person. Bad shit happens, push through it, and use it as a catalyst to fucking be better, I guess, you know? I'm not fucking Gandhi. I'm not God. I'm just saying what I think is 
may be true. I'm on the same page with you guys. I, I don't know shit. I don't know shit. I'm, I'm just a human trying to fucking find my way and do good and learn and be a better person. If you guys want to see me really cry and like sob my eyes out, watch Star is Born with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. I will bawl my eyes out every fucking time. Keep fucking going, people. You got this. Don't let trauma hold you back. That's it, guys. That's the video. Later. Peace. Bye.